Hi, I'm Neil. Hi, I'm Jeanette. Welcome, welcome aboard, aboard Echo Echo. Echo. What's happening, Neil? What's happening? Life on the high seas uh, is rolling. It's just terrible. Uh, I can barely keep my meal on my plate. Uh, not at all. We're in, so in the Galapagos Island group at the moment, having lunch, and because it's so calm, we're taking advantage of it and having a good nosh up, and also getting rid of our supply of slightly overripe bananas. I think Jeanette has cooked this up for us because this afternoon we're doing the uh, equator crossing ceremony and I think she was a little concerned that if she didn't do something with the bananas in the way of eating she might end up wearing them this afternoon as part of the celebrations but uh, either way what do they say about food? Bon, bon appétit? Bon, that's it, I was going to say bon voyage but bon appétit <laughs> Okay, how about you Don? Oh, Ready this for is amazing. <laughs> I've never had banana pancakes on a boat before. There you go. Warm, <laughs> and the banana rum cake last night was awesome. I'm looking for, forward to a lot more bananas. Oh, good. Since we got about a, three or four more days before <laughs> they're all oh, gone. Rotten. <laughs> exactly. That's the problem with bananas. They're all ripe at the same time. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. I'm not really King Neptune. I've been sent by King Neptune. King Neptune's busy. We're in the Galapagos. Kim, King Neptune has read all about Darwin's theory of evolution, and King Neptune is friendly with a number of mermaids. So quite uh, uh, right now, and the reason he sent me, he's busy doing stuff with mermaids that hopefully will disprove Darwin's theory. But anyway, I am his emissary in his stead, all you shellbacks and pollywogs. We have a shell back on board, but fear not, I favour no man. <laughs> shell back is Don, because he's done the equator once before. On what type of boat, Don? It was the SS African Star in June of 1971. Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah. And who's a, who's a polywog? You're the polywog. <laughs> I'm an honorary shellback, given that Neptune's busy with the mermaids as a poor man. So, now, I have been led to believe by Neptune, because he's given me a brief, some briefing notes, I have been led to believe, Jeanette, that you have been charged with several heinous crimes against King Neptune, and he is displeased, and has passed on to me his sincere expectation 
that I extract extract the maximum possible punishment f from you for these infractions. And there's a couple. First one. He says, you have cursed him regarding his decisions associated with the weather. He's not happy with that. Who are you, Mia Pollywog, to determine what he should or shouldn't do with the weather? The second one. In association with some of the other lords and masters of the universe, he has provided hours of darkness. Those hours of darkness have been provided for people, for mortals like you, to sleep. Apparently, you have refused to sleep during the hours of darkness. Unacceptable to Neptune. And this third one, he is particularly peed off about. It has gone noticed by him that there have been occasions during this cruise when you've been in the water and you have peed. And that's not good. Neptune ain't happy with that. He has asked me to ask you if you have any valid defence for these heinous crimes. So, do you? Do you have anything to say in your defence, mere pollywog? I'm shell-shocked. <laughs> I did not know that I had any of these crimes against me. And of course, I say not guilty to all of them. Right. The judge and the jury have heard your not guilty plea and have appropriately disregarded it. Your punishment for these crimes, and rest assured, more are yet to come, is to endure some hardship that you seem to have avoided at all possible costs so far. You are to crawl on your hands and knees from the stern of the boat to the bow of the boat and back again while being filmed by Don. <laughs> you may commence your penalty now. Are you serious? On my hands, hands and knees. Hands and knees so that you rough the texture of, of that anti-skip. battery just died. It just turned off. No, it's still going. It's, it, you can't, you just can't see the screen unless you actually tap it back again. Oh, okay. Touch the screen and it... Oh, I'm coming! <laughs> That's all we need. Vlogging the sails while I'm trying to get past. Vlogging sails while being flogged. the other offence. <laughs> it has been brought to Neptune's attention that while in his realm of recent days you have been experiencing cramp. Is this correct? In my legs, yes. He has expressed disbelief given your level of apparent intellect that you don't know how to deal with this. And oh, I've been waiting for the bananas to get right. He's asked me to ask you questions. How do you deal with? How do you avoid cramps? What is? What causes cramps? I need to eat bananas, isn't I it? Potassium, potassium, potassium. 
And the bananas are ripe. I haven't had a cramp today. Interestingly, that's exactly what um, Neptune has said. And he has asked me on his behalf to provide a Neptune banana for you, which you must now eat. I just had banana Continued hilarity will result. Ah, uh, you may not remove it. <laughs> you, you must consume the potassium that you are so sadly oh, lacking. Four, I just ate banana pancakes. Pasta. You, no, you must not remove it. <laughs> On your knees, wench. And consume. <laughs> I thought this was a family cons video. <laughs> consume the Neptune banana. Bite it. No, <laughs> cruel. Make sure you swallow. I wouldn't have some. <laughs> Jeanette mm. would continue a conversation <laughs> while chomping on Neptune's banana. Mm, disgusting. <laughs> this might turn some of our YouTube viewers off, you know. Might turn some of them on too. <laughs> I didn't mean that way. <laughs> Shut up and eat your banana. No, 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 eat the soggy bit. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that one. Okay. Thank you. You are now exonerated. You may continue. Can I give my banana skin to you Neptune? Can continue in, Nep in, in Neptune's ra realm. Now, if you would perhaps care to take hold of the camera. How come God doesn't have to do anything? Shellbacks ordinarily are exonerated ordinarily. from events, situations <laughs> such as this. However, it has been brought to my attention that Don became a shellback so long ago that Neptune's records have been lost. He's given him a little bit of the benefit of the I doubt. I still have my certificate. However, <laughs> yes, he knows you've been certified. He did say to me that one of the things he has been most concerned about from you on, in, in his realm is that you've been turning up to your watches looking way too fresh. <laughs> this is not acceptable maritime practice. You're supposed to look haggard and drawn like the rest of us, <laughs> particularly me. And as a punishment for this infraction, he has required that we hold off on the ceremony until now when we're in the coldest part of the ocean and his requested that you take a dip in the cold Humboldt current to see if that will Ooh. prevent you from waking up too damned fresh. But we're moving, the boat's moving. Do you like to swim too? What, whatever floats your boat. Are there any sharks in this water? Huge ones. Great white What were those ones. black things that we saw? <laughs> oh cold, yeah. Cold, cold Humboldt current. And for those of you... Uh, the water is it, cold. The water is absolutely freezing. So, there is a remote possibility that Don may not survive this. <laughs> From hypothermia. He, he may turn blue. Ooh. Is it cold, Don? A bit. Are you still feeling like you're going to turn up to watch as fresh? I'll probably be fresher. <laughs> <laughs> Holy you'll crap. Be, you'll be hypothermic. <laughs> and he'll need a warm shower when he gets out. How fast are we going right now? <laughs> 2, two point knots. 2.1 knots. Two knots. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Superman! <laughs> okay, that's long enough, I reckon. Now we got to get him back on board. He looked 
like you're enjoying it. It's supposed to be hell. Holy smokes. Yeah, how can I get back up? <laughs> oh, damn. Forgot about that. Right hand on the bar, left knee on that lip down at the bottom. Can you put the ladder down? No. If you can get your left knee on the, uh, on the lip down below. Just have a little bit of anti fouling on your knees. Yeah. Clean that off, yeah. Uh, you deserve actually, a nice hot it's shower, not, it's Don. Not that bad, is it? It's quite fun being towed behind like that, despite the cold weather. It's uh, actually a bit refreshing. <laughs> Probably, I would say 75 yeah. degrees. Yeah. But I'm used to like 82 in Florida. <laughs> Okay, do you want to hold the camera, Neil, and I wait to go to the shower? I'll grab your towel. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go and get the booze for Neptune? Yeah, and I'm just going to get him a dry towel. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid that my, uh, with the amount of current that my shorts were going to slide off. Oh, yeah, that's always my, uh, my thought with those things. Is that you've got to hold your legs a certain way so that they, yeah. they stay on. Oh. Sweet. I'll just stand here for a minute. To... Here we go, John. You can have our Australian flag towel to use. Alrighty. <laughs> Woohoo! Does this count? <laughs> that's the right way up, too. Yep, that's the right way. <laughs> if you're in the southern hemisphere. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Rum for you. Rum. Wait a minute, I gotta get my flag on here. Rum and rum for Kim Neptune. So Does that do I get to drink Neptune's rum? Oh no, it's gotta go in the water. Oh, that's right. Oh. Sorry, sorry boss, forgot. Hold on, we need to fix your need to fix your hair, Neil. You're getting a bit messy there. Yeah. It's getting in the way, you can't see. Yeah. Okay, so this is Neptune's. All right, well, let's that's, offer, that's, offer okay. up for Neptune. Okay, we'll have a toast, shall what? we? Yep. Yep. Okay, here's to a safe journey for our travels. <laughs> Woo, safe yeah. journey, safe oh, journey. Safe journey. Yes. Yeah. Oops, I didn't get Neptune. Oops. <laughs> or yours. Yep, yep. Okay, now I'm going to give Kim Neptune his. Mine smells of bananas. What's going on? It's actually a nice rum, and I'm not a rum drinker. Good luck. Safe travels for us, please. Good wind, fair wind. Some wind. <laughs> Any wind. Not too much wind. <laughs> All right. So that ends up. So now you're officially a shellback. So we got the three shellbacks aboard. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo.